fashion And then she can't decide Says it's much bigger than me There comes a certain day And when it does, you know Because your mind goes up in flames To me is it worth it Let the days on earth So this is cottage pie with grass-fed beef and a burdock root potato mash topping with wild greens seasoning the meat. My name is Dina Falcone and I'm an herbalist and this project um, brings together 30 years of my passion, 30 years of my life's work, working with food, working with wild plants, learning plant identification. I'm Wendy Hollander and I'm a botanical illustrator, which means I draw and paint plants that are scientifically accurate. The book is laid out into two primary sections. Uh, the first part will be the full color botanical illustrations. We're working on 50 plants there and then the second part is a recipe book that takes those 50 plants and turns them into delectable food. So here we have fruit mousse pie. This happens to be raspberry mousse pie. It's a really uh, versatile berry recipe. You can use blackberries, blueberries, elderberries, currants. It's very refreshing. It's a raw pie. You don't cook it. It's in a raw pressed crust as well. There's a hundred master recipes and from those master recipes you can make 30, 40 variations from one master. So this book has potentially three or four thousand recipes. Um, this book project is something that I've actually been thinking about creating for the last 20 years and lucky thing happened three years ago. Wendy Hollander moved to my neighborhood. Little did I know at the time what I was actually getting into. <laughs> it has a lemony flavor. It tastes, it's in the sorrel. 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 What do I know? So Wendy's already gotten flour and now we're just going to focus in on what you would gather now. But also these leaves are actually super delicious. They're much milder than they are in the summer. So that's what we're going to go do inside is just capture the essence of this long tap root, this fall root. The garlic mustard is one of the invasive species really. So many of the plants we're covering in the book are, but this one seems to be on the hit list pretty strongly lately. It is bitter and this time of year the bitterness chills out so it's really a nice time to harvest it. It's got a two-year life cycle and we will put small amounts of it into the salad for tonight. The botanical illustrator's job is to kind of lead the viewer around the plant and see what they want you to see. So it will focus in on very particular details that will help you identify that plant. Personally, I think that the drawings are soulful, they're incredibly rich, they're textured, they have history to them, there's a richness. Botanical art is a traditional art form and it's incredibly satisfying for me. I was amazed, for example, taking amaranth and um, cooking it and finding out that it was more delicious than any and sweeter than any spinach I had ever eaten. And to realize that plant just showed up on my property. I mean, I didn't have to do anything to grow that plant. It was just there. So it's a zero carbon footprint way of eating this foraging thing. It's free food, not to mention that it's mostly superior nutrition so that the cultivated vegetables don't even compare to these wild plants. So there's the beauty in going out to the ecosystem, you live in finding what grows there, learning how to eat that stuff. Now we're going to take the wild greens that we harvested earlier today. We have yellow dock, we have dame's rocket, we have purple dead nettle. We're going to chop it up and turn it into a saute, what's called a pot herb. And th in this case, we're going to saute these pot herbs in some olive oil and we're going to field garlic bulbs are going to season it. So we're going to put these into the pan first. I feel sorry for all the people who aren't eating this yep. tonight. <laughs> so that's why we're super proud of this book and we think you should buy a copy. Just like